guys, we're gonna do another one just to show you guys. <laughs> So I don't have too much time in my hands, so I have to start working on Chelsea's car. So I gave myself two days to do the header. I have everything here. All I have to do is just start cutting, measuring, doing all this shit, and hopefully by the end of today, I should have a header done for the car. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do the rest of the exhaust kick. I need to go to the junkyard and get a diff, because the car has to suffer for a uh, explorer diff. So if I get that far, I might, basically just wait till monday if not i'm just gonna just do the headers and put the car outside so luckily everything showed up in time so i have everything to do the headers it's more of a basically time make sure i don't take too long with it i got these really nice flanges they're pretty big but because i made for uh for schedule 10 schedule 40 piping but i have these for it that are just gonna sit like that that way we can use our two inch piping. All this plus the titanium we're using is from JMD tubing. And this is from uh, Reactive Fab. So he went ahead and made me a collector that goes uh, three, basically three to one, but two inch to three and a half inch. See how nice that thing is? So it's gonna make my job way, way easier. So I don't need this right now. Just gonna put it aside. It's gonna put the flanges on and start cutting all this all this nice metal up like i said hopefully i can get everything done uh pretty fast today i'm gonna try to record as much as i can but it's kind of hard because i have to like, basically be under the car out of the car under the car of the car so i'm just i think i'm just gonna like show you like almost like the end result not really everything about cutting it or tacking it so i went ahead and just give it a little quick tack to the flanges put the the transitions on them that would make it a little bit easier on me, so I'm just gonna bolt these up now and start figuring out how to make them look cool but function. The goal is high 400s without nitrous and then nitrous to get really far with it. So the headers have to work really good so we have no basically no spots that are creating too much heat. As far as the angle of the intake, that's why I have to cut the hood because we need it to flow really smoothly. Same with the exhaust, it needs to flow really smoothly to the back. It's been like about like a solid hour. You can tell by my face, this sucks. It's not fun doing it without a lift. Uh, the quick jacks help, but it still sucks. But I got one runner done. And you can kind of tell it's almost as tall as me. I mean, I'm not short by any means, but this runner right now is measuring to 60 inches on the dot at the collector. A little overkill, who cares? I mean, it might it might help it, it might hurt it. I mean, we're gonna find out by doing it, but this thing is literally massive. Where it sits at, really comfortable to work in a car. I just gotta finesse the other two runners. So right now I'm just gonna put it back in the car, show you guys what it looks like on the car, and plan out how I'm gonna do the other runners so they equal out to about the same, have to be within an inch of each other. It's gonna be hard, but let's do it. You can see my little stainless steel cane right here. It goes all the way to the collector. The front runner, you wanna minimize any bends. I want it to be the straightest as possible. The reason why I have bends because I need to get close to some parts to allow access for the other runners. And down there, so it doesn't get too low and hits the, the basically the floor of the car. So not bad. This is the, usually the ugliest runner you can do. After that, you can just go crazy with the rest of the runners. All right, so you can see car right height. It's not really stick out too much. If it hits a little bit, it hits a little bit. I can't do too much about it because of the height. But I have all three runners, the long part of it at least, hooked up. So this one's gonna go to the rear rudder, this one to the middle. So now that I have basically almost 
let me hide my foot so now that i have everything to where it's supposed to be at somewhat i can measure how much forward i have to go with each runner to make it equal the same as the last runner i already measured everything i have both runners almost ready to go bottom one is going to the middle this one is going to this one right here this runner is 54 inches so i have to make these two equal out 54 inches the bottom one is 27 inches i need to add 27 inches this way to here the other one's 25 inches so i have to add another 29 inches which probably just go up come this way turn like turn a little bit here and then shoot into there i have to make sure that is 29 inches and this is 27 inches so it's equal it could be a little bit off like an inch or so but i want to get it to 54 exactly so let's see what happens okay so i added that extra piece down there and after a little bit of finessing came up with this it uh everything comes out to be 28 and a half inches so it's, it's an inch and a half a little long i mean it was pretty hard to try to get it to fit on spot at 50. so i could just trim it down a little bit somehow but that's round number two now for number three small correction i pull the uh one of the pieces out and shorten it so now we're literally half an inch less than half an inch from front to middle so you're gonna see like that has has a gap can come out easy in and out i just gotta do the rest so i got runner number two done pretty smooth i had to do a kind of a crazy bend up here it shouldn't bother too much i've been looking at pictures of people how they've done it all my australian boys and new zealand boys and this is the way so got this one settled just gotta put it back in the car and jump for the last one i gotta put this big ass pipe in there and I got Julian out here cleaning the blitzes. All right, so 1 a.m., final runner done. What a pain in the ass. But, basically it sits almost like that. It comes out to be 53 and three quarter inches. So almost in a spot, quarter of an inch off, but should be fine. Just gonna put it on and be done for today. That's the headers. Looks pretty cool. Nothing too flashy. It's more about it working correctly. So 53 and a three quarter. This one was, uh, I think it was 54 and a quarter. 54. So I mean, I can't, can't beat that, honestly. And they still look super smooth. And, and under the car. Yeah, see, everything's super smooth. To the collector right there. So now from there on, it's going to be the, the exhaust, but some big boys. Now that I've done, comes the fun part. That takes forever, which is welding it. So I have to go refill the gas real quick. I'm, I'm really low on it. Uh, weld the headers. Weld the intake manifold. I didn't finish welding, I didn't have enough gas. After that, I gotta figure out the diff first before I do the rest of the exhaust. And I'm gonna do two exhausts. So one's gonna be a straight titanium to the back, and one's gonna be titanium to a muffler. That way I can play around the exhaust if I want to, just put a muffler, quiet it down a little bit. And when I get bored of it, take the muffler out, put a straight pipe on it, and let this thing eat. I mean, overall, super, super happy with the way the headers came out. Look pretty cool. Still have plenty of space. I have like about like half an inch before it's the frame rails. I can take the exhaust in and out easy. And it's not too high. That's going to get the intake hot. I'm still going to make a basically a heat show from here covering it up. So we don't even get that heat away from it. But, but I mean, it should be fine. That's pretty much it. Yeah.